Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Media Viral. My name is Jamie and today we'll be counting down 15 celebrities you most likely never knew spoke a second language. Before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel and share this with all your friends. In at number 15 is Bradley Cooper, French. To start this list off is Bradley Cooper, best known for his role in the Hangover series. During college, Cooper learnt French in Georgetown and also spent six months in the Aix-en-Provence as an exchange student, which is where he learnt the majority of his French. De, a degree in English. Oui. And she asks, pourquoi? Enfin, tu t'exprimes tellement bien. Elle se demande pourquoi tu as fait ça. Dans mon université. Dans l'université. Ah, pourquoi? Parce que. <laughs> C'était une bonne question. Mais pourquoi? Tu mais ça? pourquoi? Ah, mais pourquoi? Alors, mais c'est c'est une bonne question parce que c'est. C'est comme d'habitude, euh, mais euh, quand j'étais enfant, euh, aller au euh, collège, université, ça va être un rêve. In at number 14 is Leonardo DiCaprio, German and Italian. DiCaprio spent part of his childhood in Germany with his grandparents who were of German and Russian descent. It was during this time that DiCaprio learned to become conversational in German and Italian. In January 2016, DiCaprio met Pope Francis and conversed in both Italian and English. My almost from a a small state, two hours away from Düsseldorf. This was some tea in a number 13 is Ariana Grande, Japanese. Only starting in January of 2015, Ariana Grande has a very good grasp of the Japanese language and has even posted on her social media images of her trying her best to learn the language in her free time. She says that she's always been fond of Japanese culture and that she wants her Japanese fans to understand that her liking of the culture extends more than just her Japanese fans. <laughs> No, sorry, Daisuke. Okay. Daisuke. Daisuke. And then you can say, um, can I teach you how to say like something else, like what I want to say, <laughs> what I want you to say? Yeah. What I know is that Daisuke Wiki wa totemo sexy So. No, no one would expect me to say that. I, I agree. In at number 12 is Sandra Bullock, German. With both of Bullock's parents being of German descent and living in Nuremberg, Vienna and Salzburg for 12 years, she learned to become fluent in German by growing up with the language. Ah, Mensch, bin ich nervös, weil da drüben auf dem Boden liegt meine Sprache. <laughs> okay, um, in was für großartigen Zeiten wir leben, weil... Irgendwann war ich mal Kellnerin, dann war ich Putzfrau, dann war ich Diskotänzerin, dann war ich Hundefriseuse. Wer, wer hätte gedacht, dass all diese Berufe mich eines Tages auf diese Bühne führen würden? In at number 11 is Jack Black, Spanish. Having to prepare for his 2006 film Nacho Libre, Jack Black decided to sit down and try to learn Spanish more so than he already knew from his school days. He managed to build his Spanish to a fairly good conversational standard and has done multiple interviews in Spanish too. He said that he stayed in character leading up to the role of Nacho Libre while at home, so he would often try to talk around the house in Spanish. Yo soy Jack Black. Mucho gusto. And the movie is in Spanish. Esta película se llama King Kong. ¿Cómo se llama en, en, uh, en español? King Kong. King Kong? ¿Cómo se dice King? Rey? Rey. 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 Kong, Rey Kong. Como se dice gorilla. Gorilla. Rey gorilla. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Gracias. Encantado. Adiós. La ciudad de México. In at number 10 is Will Smith, Spanish. Smith has a huge passion for Spanish culture and will take any chance he can to go travel to Spain. He has said before that he learned the majority of his Spanish from talking to friends in Los Angeles, traveling to Spain, and having the ability of not being afraid to make a mistake. Okay, well, I, I, hablo un poquito, uh, pero no entiendo mucho. Es difícil para mí oír uh, las palabras. Pues pero, te... pero, vamos a tratar. Y te voy a preguntar bien despacio. <laughs> Antes que nada, sé que lo aprendiste en la escuela. In, in, uh, they learn Spanish in school, right? Sí. Yeah, yeah, in, 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 in school. school. Uh, tengo una maestra 
uh, de español uh, que viaje conmigo para mi entrevistas. In at number nine is Johnny Depp, French. Until 2012, Depp had a French partner called Vanessa Paradis, who probably helped him a lot when it came to understanding the language. However, he is also a descendant of a French Huguenot immigrant, which might have given him the motivation to learn French as it's part of his history. Depp also co-owned a restaurant bar called Man Ray, which is situated in Champs-Élysées in Paris. <coughs> Je vous remercie. Je ne comprends pas vraiment le concept des prix en général. Je déteste l'idée de compétition. Le seul contre lequel je me bats, c'est moi. Pour aller plus loin chaque fois dans mon travail. Personne n'est meilleur qu'un autre. In a number eight is Joseph Gordon Levitt, French. Known for being the child in Third Rock from the Sun and for his role in Don John, Joseph Gordon Levitt can speak fluent French. From the year 2000 to 2004, he studied history, literature, and French poetry. During his studies, he quickly became very interested in the French language and people, eventually becoming a French speaker. Simon, no, c'est pas vrai. Il y a beaucoup de, je sais pas le mot, for rumors. Rumor, rumor. Il y a beaucoup de rumor, uh, mais um, c'est que ça, rumor. Bienvenue en Belgique. Aimes-tu notre pays? Sophie, je viens d'arriver à Belge, mais uh, en Belge. Um, C'est belle dehors euh, la fenêtre. Mais euh, la Belge, c'est euh, la place natale de le chanteur préféré de ma mère, Jacques Prel. Et euh, il est, il est quelqu'un que moi j'aime aussi. Alors euh, je cherche cette inspiration qu'il a trouvée. In the number seven is David Lee Roth, Spanish. It was hard to find out exactly when or where David Lee Roth learned Spanish, as there seems to be no record of this information. Either way, David Lee Roth is fluent in Spanish and even sang on an entire album in Spanish called Sonrisa Salvaje, which consists of 10 songs, and the album can be found on YouTube in its entirety. You know, este es la primera vez en Sudamérica y este es... In at number six is Colin Firth, Italian. In 1997, Colin Firth married Italian film producer Livia Giulie. Ever since their marriage, Firth has been learning Italian and is now fluent in the language, as well as having one of his residents in Umbria, Italy. Per quanto tempo spendo? Non so, eh, non è esatto. Uh, vengo ad, ad, ad ogni opportunità. Um, al solito tutte le vacanze di scuola uh, veniamo. Um, se sto lavorando non posso, però vengo veramente a tutte le opportunità. Io vivrei in Italia adesso, mm. penso. Basta che possa tornare ogni tanto a Londra, però. Um, Dov'è di preciso? È in terra di Siena? In, in, sì. Senza dire insomma, sì. la, la location. Sì. Però insomma, vede le colline senesi, sì. diciamo, dalla casa. Sì, sì. Una casa su una collina sarebbe ideale. Um, non solo per motivi romantici, io, non, io conosco troppo bene l'Italia per romanticizzare tutto. In at number five is Ben Affleck, Spanish. Having spent part of his childhood growing up in Mexico, Affleck was able to fluently learn Spanish at around the age of 13 and also took a few months to learn Spanish at the University of Vermont. I said with Chivo Lubezki in another film I said antes que este se llama To the Wonder, it was directed by Terrence Malick. Y él, él me dijo, tengo un amigo muy bueno, se llama Rodrigo y, y, y trabajó para Alejandro González Señorito. Y dije, hoy oh, quiero, quiero conocerle, you know, puedo hablar con él. Y él me dijo, sí. Y entonces tu, tuvimos conversaciones de películas, de filmes, de, de películas, de directores, de, de foto, fotografía. Y miramos uh, muchas películas. Y nos dijimos, oh, queremos, queremos, algo, queremos hacer algo como este o algo como este. Eso, eh. 
And, um, entonces tuvimos una un exper experiencia muy bien juntos. In a number four is Vigo Mortensen, Danish, French and Spanish. Though born in New York City, Mortensen's father was Danish and from an early age Mortensen moved to Venezuela, then to Denmark and finally settled in Argentina. It was during this time that he would learn fluency in Spanish. He later on earned his bachelor's degree in Canton, New York in Spanish. Mortensen also has knowledge of Italian, Norwegian, Swedish and Catalan. Este, y se crió en el campo y consiguió trabajo, vivíamos en Nueva York. Eh, yo nací ahí, en Manhattan. Y, y él consiguió un trabajo vinculado a, al campo, a la, al, al trabajo agropecuario. Y vinimos acá, vivimos en Buenos Aires y un poco en el Chaco también. Cuidando un campo, ¿no? Sí, y tuvo varios trabajos acá. Este, hasta los 11 años eh, estuve acá. Y es un, como decís, es una, una parte de tu vida, esa primera década que te marca para siempre, no importa dónde sea que hayas nacido. ¿no? In a number three is Shakira with Spanish, Portuguese, Italian and Arabic. Born and raised in Barranquilla, Colombia, you can see how Shakira knows her Spanish. She probably learned her Italian from her mother who has Italian roots, and having the majority of her ancestry be in Arabic, she probably used that as an incentive to learn the language. Though a great portion of her music is in Spanish, she has also sung in Portuguese, Arabic, French, English and Italian. In the region and in the world, and we have a challenge adiante. the Pra, pra fazer que todas as crianças de 0 a 6 no Brasil e, e em América Latina tenham a oportunidade de, de assistir à escola e também receber atenção, estimulação, nutrição, que são tantas. In at number two is Jackie Chan with Cantonese, Mandarin, Japanese and American Sign Language. Jackie Chan is most known for being on screen as an actor. What you might not know about him is that he's also a musician who has done songs in various other Asian languages such as Mandarin, Japanese and Hindi. According to Wikipedia, Chan also has knowledge of American Sign Language, Korean, German, Spanish and Thai. <laughs> That's a normal. Even conversation. Uh -huh. Just conversation. Yeah. In at number one is Natalie Portman with Hebrew, French, Spanish, German, Japanese, Arabic, and American Sign Language. Natalie Portman was born in Jerusalem, and though from the age of three she moved to New York, her father knew fluent Hebrew and most probably raised his daughter to understand the language too. Ever since childhood, Portman has been very interested in various other languages and went on to study French, German, Japanese, and Arabic. More recently, she appeared in Paul McCartney's My Valentine music video, in which she does the lyrics entirely in American Sign Language, meaning that Natalie Portman can speak or has knowledge of seven languages. Bye, Julie. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you know of any bilingual celebrities that I missed out on this video? Comment them down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, turn on notifications to be notified of a new video and comment any suggestions down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.